Hey folks, welcome to a quick tutorial on how to use the when to manage mobile scheduling solutions for employees and managers. For those of you who can't spend the entire time with us, go ahead and write down this email address and phone number and give us a call or shoot us a text or an email here. We'd love to hear from you about any question you do have. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this. So right now we're almost I'm on the desktop version of the scheduling app. I've logged in as a manager. I've created my schedule. Maybe I want to add uh, Becky Robinson here too. So I'm going to add her in at say 7.45 a.m. and I'm pushing her all the way to 1.45 p.m. Need her for quite a long shift here and I'll go ahead and save this so you know I can continue to edit continue to modify my schedule get to the right folks at the right team but if I'm happy so far I can go ahead and publish this schedule now as that goes out to the team via text message email in some cases we can push that down into the point of sale system uh, to manage early clock in and clock outs we can we can as a manager go ahead and pull up um, what on our, on our iPad or on our Droid tablet who's working today so you can see this is kind of like a version of what you might see on an iPad um, it obviously is scaled here in my Firefox browser but any, any device that you use it'll scale appropriately I'm gonna go ahead and click on again this would be with my finger on an iPad uh, all shifts so I can see at this point who's working when they're supposed to show up and I can get some more details on that if I want to as well I can see last week and next week too so while I'm with my tablet, while I'm in the location, 4G, 3G access, I can see what's going on. I can also, um, here with our solution, pull up reports on what's happening with my location. You can also do this as an enterprise user, so I can run any of these reports that I'd like. And in addition to that, uh, I can also do physical inventory counts. So kind of a helpful feature there. Walk around the closet, maybe uh, dry storage, maybe uh, in the... Uh, the bar area and run my physical counts here. A new feature we just uh, added is the way to do transfers from one location to another. If you're using a commissary, this is a great tool. So I can transfer in product from one location or a commissary. I can also transfer out product from one location to another. We'll get into more of that in a dip different demonstration here. What I really want to focus on is how schedules are sent out to employees and how managers are made aware of that. If I go back to my home screen here uh, within the labor app, application. Uh, I can see in some respects maybe some people have requested availability. Now they can do this via the employee scheduling app that we've created and launched. Uh, this is available for free for all employee users so they can easily access that um, and you know maximize their time with their lives uh, and the work uh, workplace as well. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up my Safari browser here. I've logged in as Mark Jenkins, uh, same person here, and what I can do is see my available shifts for today. So again, as a, as an employee, I'm seeing these shifts. This might what it might. It might look like this on a, perhaps a Samsung Galaxy S3 or an iPhone. But what I can do is uh, click with my finger, load up these shifts, uh, and I can give this shift away for someone, uh, perhaps with the, that job title. So I can choose this person. Uh, they can be selected, and at that point, manager might receive an alert notifying them of the potential trade if that option's been selected with that employee. I can then, if I like, go ahead and toggle to next week too. I can also change my availability. Uh, again, lots of features here for employees. So this is what would be on the docket for next week. Uh, that shift that or the schedule we just created is now available here. So really easy ways for employees to maximize how they interact with the corporation or the restaurant or the franchise so that they're in line with what your expectations are.